And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum mid-range that we're going to be playing over in Masters. I haven't really seen Braum uh, be too good of a card, to be honest. Uh, it's, you know, it's just an 05. If your opponent's not really playing units, it's not doing a whole lot. Um, I haven't seen it be too uh, effective or, um, you know, I haven't seen it win a lot. But this, this deck right here was one that we found today um, on the, the Decks of Runeterra website where it said that it was doing okay in Masters and some people were playing in Masters, and so I want to give it a try. Um, doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be the best. We saw that with the Noxus Solution deck was not uh, very good. But we're going to give it a try because I always like trying different cards and, and you know, trying different stuff and, um, you know, testing and everything like that. So... Uh, I'm going to be your, your guinea pig here for those of y'all watching this, you know, here in, in Twitch right now and, and later on YouTube so we can see if, if there is a good viable Braum deck. Hopefully this is it. Like, we'll see. We got some um, elusives to help it out um, as well. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> You're trying so hard to make Braum work. Yeah, it, I, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> found Braum really working too much quite yet. We'll see. So far, we're, we're one and one. You know, Kar Karma Thresh Control was amazing. Noxus Solution was not very good. We'll see where Braum at mid-range kind of falls on that scale. Hey, Josh getting the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Josh. Gets our fifth sub of the day. Get that sub goal. So we'll mark down that sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. So we're gonna be doing a 12 hour stream here pretty soon. That's 15 out of 20 sub goals. So just five more sub goals. And then we'll be doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate. Sub goal hype. Thanks, Josh. Josh says, love the stream. Excited to see you compete in this game. Thank you so much. All right, let's 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 recall this Omen Hawk. There's always a way out. Fully expecting a Fiora right here. Water uh, River Shaper. Winter, take Something that I was going to be frostbiting. And then attacking. Strike quickly. Currents, hold them down. Waters are still. Well, that's good. So basically we ended up with Flame Tongue Kavu. With this Ice Hill Archer acting as Flame, Flame Tongue Kavu. A true Felyorian welcome. The four mana two three that gives plus two plus two that that card that Laurent Blade Keeper that is in Demacia so in a different region. But I, I like that card. Again, this this also isn't a deck that I made. I did not make this deck. So there's that too. Hi, peaceful. It's too late for you. Worthless. 
<clears throat> Harem King, do you think I should be using that site instead of Mobile Addicts for like where I put where I just put my collection and the and decks up and everything and, and use that? I am one with the land. I got you. Uh, I should have played the Omenhawk first. Engulf them. What form will the waters take? Mobile Addicts is more promoted right now by other streamers. It could just be because that's like the one they know. Like that's that's what I you know I knew. I didn't I didn't know of. Um, the decks of Rune Terra site. For the honor of my house. Okay, you do think mobile addicts, is e mobile addicts is easier to navigate? Okay. I, will play my part. I like a yeah, I like a, a Verozen Sentry. Um, it, I think it's good against. I think it's good against um, aggro. It's a you know it's a good good blocker against aggro, and it's good against control decks too because you know they have to kill it because otherwise it's just going to attack them for two for a while and so they have to kill it and so you get to draw a card or you know get swept up by a sweep or whatever so i like avaros and sentry basically where it's not as good as like other creature decks that can go over the top of it and you know either with elusive um or just much bigger things that they can kind of ignore it um and it, it doesn't get to jump block for you I should put back the beard also. All fours and fives. I should have put this beard back. Oh, I don't know if I even muted that. If I didn't mute that cough, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Fearsome's also. So yeah, Fearsome's, Elusive's. I have nothing to play this turn. I really should put the spear back. I'm 
I'm in a really bad spot. Um... I don't, yeah, I don't know exactly where to go to recommend that for the new players to take the starter deck to, they have to improve it. Um, the starter decks here in this game are very good. And um, somebody was asking a little while ago about like what deck I would recommend for a starter. And I was talking about the, um, the spider deck. Spider's aggro, where you have a whole lot of it. Um, so I guess like the you know like it's, it's not really exactly um, it has bud. Um, that like basically that's like kind of like the deck that I recommend building up towards whenever you're uh, just starting out, and you can so you can kind of see that see see what you have and that kind of stuff. Okay, Mobile Addicts does have budget variants. Okay. That's good, too. Our strength is yours. A symbol worth fighting for. Yeah. I did not have... A good enough hand like well obviously like after this mulligan like you know all these my opening hand was denied jewel protector babbling viewer kinku life blade i haven't played any of those like these are they're just not good my four card hand was really good i oh no no we had we had nomen hawk never mind i kept i kept the nomen hawk but still i don't know why i kept that that bjergen hand i really need to mulligan that but i don't think it really would have made a difference our hand was much too slow. They had a good quick hand. Thanks, Aram King. Thanks for the thanks for the help. Is it? All right, so there, you know, this is a, an aggro deck. Um, I'm gonna try to avalanche. Good. They're just not gonna play anything else. I passed turn because I thought that they would probably play something else. And they did not. They called my bluff pretty well. They called it very well. I'm just playing a crowd favorite. It looks like could be a good reason why. They just have a bunch of spells in hand. I will play my part. Noxus. 
true Falyorian welcome. Shaktian strength! You call that sneaky? <laughs> Don't want any trouble. To 11. There's a real good chance I should have waited on that card. Falls. The uh, that life life steal card that I just played. I should have waited on it until I had some bigger creatures like this. So it looks like they have another yeah, they have another Darius in hand. They're gonna be playing here. Oh. Harrowing. I guess that's a thing. Sure, I guess I guess that's that's fair and reasonable. I'll, I'll, I'll be just fine because we have the harsh winds. We'll just frostbite, frostbite. And then. Stand Brom, stay alive. Brom. You chump block. And then. You block. You and I take escape. three. not bad. I'd rather them use the Mark of the Isles there and then do additional damage to me. Our strength is yours. Oh, it is a great day for a so we should have this with game. Where's my axe? Over. I'll do better this time. Stand and defend. All right, two and one. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'll take two, two out of three wins with Brom. Uh, Braum hasn't done anything for us. I mean, I guess it did eat that Mark of the Isles. It was, so it was a good blocker. <laughs> My dogs just like their dog beds. They just lay behind me on their dog beds. All curled up. Yes, so... Not the time to have turned to mirror. I'll take that harsh winds instead. You'll soon understand my methods. Hey G Ham, yeah, just changed my Twitch name to not have any. Yeah, I, d I didn't want to have a game in my Twitch title. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So I take six. We have Avalanche next turn. 
Oh yeah, if you're or yeah, if you're a new new viewer, yeah, I like wearing ties. Um, the past like three years streaming had a cat named Hawkeye, who was like the stream mascot who was always on stream. But Hawkeye did pass away, but so the, the name is kind of a note to, to my cat Hawkeye, Hawk tie, because I like I also like wearing ties. Is elite's only purpose to fall. Oh, they're attacking? That's not cool. Winter take you. The war mother will unite us all. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's all right. Thank, thank you, though, GM. Yeah, but was safeguard our homes. Pretty rough for a while, but but yeah, thank you. Welcome to try. Yep, and yep, and Hawkeye's forever remembered in this this sweet picture here. Alert the villain. I know it's too far away for you to see it from there, but that is wonderful art put together by some of my moderators here in chat, which is. Just such a great present. Anything for the right coin. Guess that's one way to do it. All right, we'll take that trade. I'm going to bounce the hearth guard so I can replay hearth guard and give all my creatures another plus one plus one. So they all already have plus two plus two. With me playing two hearth guards. Then whenever we play this other one, they're going to have, they're all, they will all have plus three plus three. This one gets plus three, plus three, because of that Omen Hawk from earlier. Many tribes under one banner. Anything for the right coin. I saw it. And plus, well, we also reset the hearth guard, so it's not a 5-3, so it's a 5-5, because it was a 5-3, so would, their 3-2 would have been able to kill it. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Today we fight as one! Okay, yeah, you think the Minotaur and the Rhyme Tusk Shaman should be switched? Rhyme Tusk Shaman, since it's a 5 mana 3-3, three, three, should Frostbite the smallest thing, and then this big Minotaur stun the, the biggest. Think it 
first. Cute. Not and ready. Yeah, I guess that makes sense though. Yeah, freezing like a one one isn't very useful. That's true. All will kneel before Noxus. This thing have overwhelm? No, it's fearsome. I smell a fight. The world waits, begging for dominion. Pick on someone your own speed. So we just need to get seven points across. We got seven in the air right now. Oh, we got an elusive seven. Remember your training. With me, remember your training. Fine, we'll remember our training. Jeez. If it's a fight they want. You don't stand a chance. Problem here is, of course, now now they get to stun the five four. Since I picked that up, we do replace the five four with the six five. And I got protection still. I've kept the spirits refuge to have protection. And deny, of course, so we got both of those. Hmm. Well, I can't protect from both of those. Wait, wait, wait. Which one do I... I guess I want to... I'd rather counter the Life Linker one. We'll just give the Trindomir a barrier so Trindomir doesn't die. Now we've got the other hand. Oh. Right. Still taking lethal. Right. Overwhelm plus that. Five damage. Okay, our deck's working out pretty well. We're three and one. Three and one, our deck's working out well. Don't think Braum does a whole lot against fearsome spiders. So shipped the Braum back. Hey Yud, it's going good. How's the start of your week? Yeah, Karma Thresh Control did great. We even lost our first match. 
and then fight. one uh, and then one uh, nine in a row you long. you're on lockdown over there too Yuck, I'm sorry. Yeah, my week has started very, very good. Um, you know, we had like that rough stream day yesterday, you know, last night, you know, just had like a rough ranking update and everything like that. And, you know, ended the stream a little frustrated, but I took that, uh, that energy and used it positively got an extra workout in last night and also got a lot of cleaning done cleaned like all the dishes and everything and so very very happy with with that and i'm feeling a lot better today Fight for one Freljord. Man, the next creature is going to have plus three, plus three. I'm liking this deck, though. Avalanches and then Omen Hawks and Hearth Guards. Bunch of stuff I'm all about. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they block with the 4 1. Since I have the 1 1s that we're going to trade with it anyway. Yeah, I guess I did kind of just let that happen. I turned that on. Probably just should not have even attacked. That was the, the worst case scenario. Everything that just happened is the worst case scenario. Um, let's see. Omen Hawk and then Hecarim. Yeah, this is just absolute worst case scenario. So we're gonna go just block one of these things and then life steal this. Maybe do some chumping. Try to take it. Try to make it so we only take three damage. Go down to ten. I hope we get to double spell. Okay, we could technically double spell with that. This is... Hmm. Our strength is yours! Yeah, Hecarim... Hecarim's not going to be as good tomorrow. What do we got here? A chill in the air. Avarosas, stand together. I'm just gonna pass back. Stand and defend. It's a fight they want. So while this block is, is a little worse for me, this block means that I'm taking six damage, and so Mark of the Isles doesn't kill me. Um <laughs> All good, Harem King, all good. If I make like the other block, we would keep the Omen Hawk alive, we would do one extra damage to the Hecarim, but Hecarim has overwhelm. 
Hecarim really doesn't need Overwhelm. Like, why does this card have Overwhelm also? That's unnecessary. But anyway, because um, then that one extra damage and then this six, that'd be seven total. And so a Mark of the Isles would kill us. Okay, Overwhelm fits with, with the lore. That's not Thunder. Opponent's cheating. Six mana rekindlers and busted hecarims. It was right on my tail. Yeah, no, right? We're just a friendly Brom deck. They're playing all these cards, they're getting nerfed because they're way too good. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Next falls. Uh, Koi Wolf, I, I think you're asking why I changed my Twitch name, and that's because I didn't want to have uh any specific game in my I didn't want to have a game in my Twitch name. I want a generic name to be able to use. They're coming high You cannot escape. So now I can't stop Mark of the Isles from killing me no matter what I do. But at least the Will of Ionia is a good draw where we're not dead immediately. It's possible they don't have Mark of the Isles. That'd be good. So Mark of the Isles is also cheating. That card got nerfed as well. Wow. Oh, it's a, such a cheater. All right, so three and two. Couldn't quite stabilize against all these Hecarim attacks. Couldn't quite stabilize. Thanks, Aaron King. Yep, those are the full patch notes for tomorrow. What do we got? Shen Fiora. How good is Avalanche against Shen Fiora? Could probably be useful. Space between worlds. Uh, let's 
let's see. It's an annoying setup. Hmm. Yeah, that's an annoying setup. A true Falyorian welcome. Feel the sizzle! Enforce equilibrium. Need a friend! They're coming! Hide! Alright, well, Avalanche would kill two things right now. Save the homestead. So that mana was going to be wasted, and so he used it Look out there. instead. Taste the glory. Heed my word. Light the signal fires. Virtue guides me. So we're behind. Your place is still in the mortal world. We're definitely behind. They have a better creature and they have two more cards. Shadow Assassin's good. some bigger creatures I'm gonna bank this two mana for like a harsh winds instead of playing it with that archer we fight for one frail yard my shield is yours honor dictates they are under my protection Come 
Marcia. They cannot hide. good chance here but the game's not over yet it must be done that's close They're obviously going to barrier the Shen. It is not yet their time. And so then all harsh winds. And So we gotta do these so I don't die. Do anything two seven. <sighs> I'm one man short from Avalanche, Life Blade, and Brom. Do you think it makes sense that a unit hitting one with barrier procs effects that require the strike? Um. I go unseen. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I guess yeah, I guess so because it was it was stricken, but it just hit hit the barrier. I'm pretty, I'm pretty like with that. I'm pretty okay with however the, either way, honestly. So like however they set it up, I'm honestly just fine with. Let us get going. Take you. Want the extra blocker? I don't think they are. Like, I think they're they're definitely just going straight to combat. I just want to have five blockers. All right, Brom does regenerate. Maybe I should have. So I was I was worried about like just Brom challenging one so of these I things because they would give their thing barrier and give it plus three and then it kills my Brom. That's why I didn't just like play Brom and and challenge right away. My life for Avarosa. Stand and defend. We 
enemy walk between realms. I don't really care if Brom dies, right? What's better, Hearthguard or Brom? I guess the Brom's better. Yeah, it's very true. Brom can attack the Shen. There's always a way out. Okay. Virtue guides me. Have an elusive unit. Smell that? A fight to cook it. Is it possible they're out of barrier cards? Probably not possible. But the Kinku. Today we turn the tide of war. So the rally means they get to kill my Brom. For the honor of Ongar. For the honor of Ongar. Hmm. Like this is a little bit of an odd attack. I guess they just really need to kill my elusive creatures. Darn. The they figured it out. Well. No one goes hungry. Okay, so yeah, so these are just trade now. It's possible I could just let this stay alive and just kill that, kill this. Take 10. I'm at 20. Playing for the later game, we have played multiple hearth guards. Oh no, they get to attack. No. Who would face me? I want to attack. Um try me. Uh 
Oh, I got repost. I should have switched those two. Poor Braum. So close to lethal, but not quite. I will end this here. Do not waver. I can't make that block. We know they have a spell. What do they got? Nothing. I think it may be single combat. Like, that's how, how they're acting. It felt like single combat. But I guess single combat, they still could have fought and gained five life. So it couldn't have been that because they could have just fought with their, their life linker. Yeah, I don't know how we got out of that one. Wait, are we four and two? Did I mark that down as a loss like way before when the game wasn't actually over yet? I thought we only lost one with this deck. I need chat's help. Are we actually four and two? Did I, did I just like dumbly be like, oh, this is over and just mark it down as a loss to save time, but then the game wasn't over? I don't know if, if anybody either remembers or can go back and check with the video. See, like, at the beginning of that match, what was my record? Be grateful I even noticed. I, I could also do that, I guess. I can go to my videos myself to the war mother. and go check. That's pretty good. No, okay, we were three and two. Yeah, we lost to the, the Hecarim person. It was our second loss. We still got a two for one. We got rid of the transfusion and that creature for the avalanche. But of course, we're, we're at even cards now because we they just got a free kill with the Omen Hawk earlier. It was right on my tail. I won't. Ugh, I'm gonna have to bounce this thing, aren't I? Eventually. The War Mother will unite us all. come here, handsome. Yeah, I guess overwhelm would be pretty rough. I got harsh winds. We're good. I love the taste of the action. 
Stand and defend! But my friend! Huh. That wasn't so bad. We fight for one frail yard. Advent, come here. I just got a bunch of these kind of crappy crimson cards. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a Braum deck. Braum has not hasn't been that good for us. I guess it was kind of okay this last match. Blood exists to be pumped, no? I will play my part. Plus two, plus two. Advent, come here. Hey. So many curators. Oh dear. What have you got us into now? I'll still have Will of Ionia if I need it. No, I usually just play I usually play 10 10 games with the decks. That's that's what I usually do. Um that other that other one like the the Noxus Solution deck just was not very good and so I just stopped after 7. I didn't know I didn't I just didn't want to play another 3 of that game of that one. But yeah, all like all three decks we played yesterday we went 4-6 with yeah, I usually just try to do 10 games of each. Um, it's kind of a greedy line. That's fine. Surprised we're doing this well in, in Masters with with Braum, but we are kind of we're not playing against like the top tier decks as much. You know, like we're play like we played against like another Braum deck there and face some other stuff like that. But the very worst, we're gonna be five hundred. Which is honestly it's about as good as I could expect was was 500. I was hoping for that. And now we can just <clears throat> we can only improve from there. Looks like we're playing against just another hipster. <laughs> I 
No, Poros will not be tier one. Still. Like, with that Poros snacks, let's see, I have it up here. See, a Poros snacks, they, it used to cost four, now it cost three. And they said, Poros is currently the worst performing expedition archetype by a large margin. We're hoping this change helps expedition decks while also giving Poros a boost in constructed. All they did was make Poros snacks cost from four to three, like that's it? <laughs> that was the only help that they got. They're the worst performing deck by a large margin, but all we're going to do to help. Um... A true Fragnorian welcome. Purity and peace. <laughs> one less means you can play one more Poro. Look out for Reavers. I do like Babbling Bjerg draw Hearthguard. I'm all about that. Stay back. I should have just made this attack right away. Because I need a bounce solution in response to the attack. That was just not smart. I should have made that attack right away before playing Beard. They also should have done that post combat to rally. Rallying right then doesn't matter. This fight is over. All that rally does is what two damage to me. You, like, kill my hearth guard, do two damage to me? Oh, well. That killed me. Alright, so that, that was just... That attack bot that I made was just really, really dumb. Alright, I had been winning too much. I had to make a, a dumb play. Okay, now we'll, I'll back to focus again. I was, I was just not focused at all on that game. You know, sometimes you just kind of mentally take a game off. That's what happened there after... So many tough games in a row that we had. Just kind of took one off mentally, but back at it. All right, so no champs. No champs is like the... Don't side, you know, don't, uh, you know, the don't, don't mulligan well against me because you don't, don't know what's going on. Deck. Alright, 
two for two. But I guess we also drew a card. So really, I guess two for one. Yeah, we're up a card. So why do they cry when their thing hit the allegiance? I wish I still had that Jewel Protector. I could pick up Jewel Protector, play it again, make this Life Blade even larger. Nothing but Noxian might. I go unseen. There they go. They finally missed. Looking for a daring escape. Oh, it didn't hit? The plus one plus one was from... Wait, the plus one plus one was from Omenhawk? I don't... Line up. That... I don't, I don't know. Takes out those two five twos. I need the reputation. A true Felyorian welcome. Now I can take heart my life blade next turn. I'll show you how it's done. I'll protect the villages. My life for Avarosa. Awesome. We used that brittle steel, but didn't have it anymore. And we're six and three. Goes better when you focus more. Also, the avalanches were nice. Played the Inagro deck and had avalanches. All right, one more. Match number 10. Looks like a Freljord Ionia mirror match. Their deck could be a little different though. <laughs> uh, this isn't bad. I'll take this. That's a good hit. <clears throat> so 
Okay, they did have Conspirator to pick it up. It's unfortunate. So I take five. Yeah, never. Mind. I realized they'd probably play that right then. That was a big time avalanche. They're so, like, they're gonna have some big creatures because, like, this game's not over. Like, they're gonna have big creatures, big elusive creatures. Um. Because of the Omen Hawk. They cannot hide. This one's trouble. Not here for shrouded path. That's good. We haven't seen any pumped creatures yet. Two Omen Hawks. Oh, wait, no, no, we did. They had. Dang, I think I got plus three, plus three. The Zed had plus one, plus one. Right? I don't know. How did. So they. Oh, could they got a third Omen Hawk in. That's right. That's right. I will play my part. So 10 mana, so I do have enough for Harsh Winds and Refuge. Or like Refuge and Deny. Will of Ionia we could counter, but we can't counter twin disciple or twin disciplines or elixir of iron. Just passing. Take 
So debate is is you know play Braum now, then I don't get to play double life blade or just not play Braum and have and be able to play double life blade. They and I don't. What they cannot see. This this way you know we only play one life blade, but then we have deny available for something. So we'll have this, get rid of that, and then just attack with all this stuff. Strike for the balance. So they don't get to have their one-one block my five-one. You call that sneaky? Punished restraint. I am a true master. Do they need our help? <laughs> Don't want any trouble. A dangerous land. It is easy, see? <laughs> this would have been a good time to just play Archer if I didn't play this thing. Guard. Hopefully finishes that out. You are safe with Brom. Block there. Take eight. Then gain six. And so that's uh you know, eight minus six is two, so we take two, so we go down to oh I guess I can always do that, but yeah. Go down to sixteen, then minus eight, go to so go down to eight. Four mana, three cards. I think going down to eight is safe enough. Even if they had, they had like barrier here, so I don't gain six life. That only that still put me down to two. You know, I wouldn't die. No, oh, can't have more units. We didn't have any units die. OPP surrendered. We were seven and three. Oh, beating a real good deck there. They had an awesome start. The Avalanche was critical. But yeah, that was like they had they kind of had everything. And we ended up winning that. Dude, seven and three and masters with Braum. Okay. Okay. This is this is definitely the best Braum deck I've ever played. Ah, cause cause yeah, you're right. It's not really a Braum deck. <laughs> it's yeah, it's an it's an elusive buff deck, masquerading as a Braum deck. The the Avalanche though worked great. You know, you would think that like you know we really should, supposed to be playing you know Omen Hawk and Conspirator and Ice Veil Archer and Sentry and Shadow Assassin you know playing all these cards and we're playing Avalanche like why are we playing Avalanche with all those but it actually played perfectly no no Braum never evolved we we hardly ever played Braum um the patch will be live tomorrow you know like whenever update happens which is in nine hours and 54 minutes so that's that's whenever that'll happen. Um, but yeah, there we go. So at least we found. Whoops. 
There it is. At least we did find a, a Braum deck that worked. You know, wasn't wasn't super Brahmy, but it worked. Wow, we only had two Hearth Guards in our deck. We cast two Hearth Guards like every single game. Hearth Guard was awesome for us too. It was so good. We only had the two of them, huh? I mean, Babbling Bjorg basically always drew Hearth Guard, because so, I guess at the beginning Bjorg's only drawn Hearth Guard of the Trindomir. Yeah, I mean, it worked out. Like, we consistently, you know, like, Bjerg would find hearth guards, so we'd consistently always had hearth guards. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. All right, so if, you, if you're if you a Braum fan and looking for a good Braum deck to play that you can get some rank up, here we go. We got a list. So there's Braum midrange. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, I guess I guess I should say that with the patch that's happening in nine hours, Navori Conspirator is going to be worse. It's only going to be a two-two and not a three-two. I think that's the only card that's hit by the patch. But that is, uh, they did nerf Conspirator a little bit. You know that it's now going to just be a two-two. Um, so that's that's something there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, hit that like button over there. Um, and as far as far as does that make the deck not playable? I don't know. You know, we'll have to just kind of see like how everything goes. Like, I don't know. I I don't have the answer there because you know a lot of things are changing. Or uh, a few things are. Uh, but anyway, yeah, hit that like button uh, and leave those comments. You know, let me know if you if you've had any other success with Brom. You know, leave a comment or just what you think of this deck. Anything like that. Uh, those likes and comments uh, go a long way. All right, but that's Brom mid range. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.